welcome back today we're playing reverse 1999 again and um today we are starting chapter four uh el oro de los tigre which uh, is spanish and i'm not good in spanish but someone in the comments of last video uh, confirmed my suspicion that it is in fact very similar to the italian translation which would be um, l'oro delle tigri o della tigre, uh, which uh, is uh, the gold of the tiger or something like that in English. So, um, okay, they also told me, well, you can see a bit from the, um, from the cover, they told me it's a bit uh, politi <laughs> or politics in intensive. Um, so I'm a little scared, but, uh, uh, I'm gonna charge through it <laughs> and we'll see what I, what I can understand. Hopefully it's not too hard for my little brain. <laughs> An old umbrella, you've had it before, the silent old and familiar black. Ah, oh, okay, it's a freebie. It was very cool. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I was checking the recording. Babes! What? I was not expecting to have drew this. I did not look at the, at the little graph or diagram with the little people correctly or good enough. Oh, are we gonna see what happened after they after this they, they got over the storm they braved the storm that's how they call it burden oh through the window she sees a beam of light penetrate the statue suspended in time through the window this one i don't see anything else i saw <gasps> burden by the storm by the storm no. It's just a nightmare. By the storm? Oh. <sighs> the slender figure gets up. The lobby is as spacious as it used to be, but she's the only being uh, walking across it now. A nightmare overly real. Is it because I haven't seen them for so long? How long has it been? Since they put her to sleep, Bert into sleep. Rarely, this place would be in such a serenity. Since their return to the foundation, each of the wow, oh, sorry, Burton oh, I didn't read it. Was the first to leave. She said she was going to talk to Madame Z about which department we would belong to. Uh oh. I haven't heard from her since then. Yeah. You didn't expect Here are their background reports I wrote for your perusal. Then, <gasps> Sotheby. Bit creepy. Her boredom was swept away by the Is invitation. Is this Sotheby's? Report? She departed in such a haste that her beloved doll was left behind on the carpet. This is Sotheby, a well-educated lady born in a traditional arcanist family. She comes from an extremely privileged background. Her family had a special influence around the world. Besides, she has limited social skills and scientific knowledge. It will be difficult to assimilate her. Invitation. Compared to Sotheby, Mr. Apple was apparently not very happy to be invited. When he left, he turned a little green. He can do that? Mr. Apple, under his modest and gentle appearance, this is the I report. Sharp perception by nature. Mm. Being so erudite, he always has his own views of our historical intelligence. As far as I know, he remains upset about Captain Regulus's involuntary affiliations with the Foundation. Rightfully so. Well, Regulus They're has shady. never been truly accepted by the Foundation. What does she it mean? Without all the education and training a member of the Foundation should have received. The influence left by the outside world on her is like a banner among the ordinary staff in the Foundation. Ooh. A banner way too salient. Does it mean she's not fit for the education? Once the banner was held up, 
new arguments were raised, and thus exacerbated the factional conflict inside the foundation. Factional. Oh, factional conflict. There ought to be no factions in the foundation. Hmm. All of us share one common goal. You should know that well. But there are factions. It seems. Oh, it is my turn finally. <laughs> is it done skipping for uh, by itself? I wasn't doing any of that, by the way. <laughs> but uh, it makes sense because she was wiping uh, so smoothly her hand across uh, the shelves. Um, but uh, that this is very interesting. Wait, let me. But the conflict has been there all the time. They don't they know about Truvis? Or did Truvis not respond to the invitation? Because apparently it seems like Vertin got out first. Um, they didn't mention Sonetto. But Vertin got out first and reported about the new people she, um, she had with her. And then she, they put her to sleep and invited the people. Or so it seemed. After she, they put her to sleep, they invited the people. Um, out of the of the little suitcase, and it only grows. <sighs> the group that believes in mankind's supremacy is splitting the foundation's belief apart. Ooh, I think someone mentioned it uh, in the comments. Uh, by the way, that probably was a little too soon. Maybe I'm, I was gonna uh, discover it here that um, Constantine was a. Uh, human supremacist so that's why she doesn't care about the lives or arcanum chi arcanist children makes sense i would have discovered here though so don't tell me any more of these things if i'm gonna discover it well actually maybe since it's politicky maybe it was like a little hidden so it, it, it makes sense to explain these things to me but maybe in the rightful in the chapter that makes sense to explain these things in so, Mankai time supremacist. is the only thing you've been observing this year. Oh. The conflicts cannot be covered by regulations anymore, Madam Z. The storm has been here for eight years. None of the people who are left behind can shake off the influence it brought. Human technologies are being reversed, while Arcanum is blooming. The unexpected first storm brought more than half of the Foundation's elite members away from us. The number of staff of the House of Integratus and the committee cannot compare with that of their heyday, even now. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. So, okay. The storm is reversing, is reversing only human made stuff? Well, it makes sense because uh, some arcanists can be saved by Vertin. But he said also the unexpected first storm brought more than half of the Foundation Elite members away from us. The number of staff of the House of Integratus and the Committee cannot compare with that of their heyday now. I still don't know what these are. In order to contend against Man's Vindicte, we have kept absorbing Arcanus from the outside world. However, the dissenting voices have only grown louder loud enough to be heard, and have become a faction that couldn't be shaken. The Mankind Caucus. Caucus? What does this mean? What is a caucus? Beyond their control, these new Arcanists only brought fear. They demand an unchallengeable power to make decisions, and a harsher control of Arcanists. Oh. Madam Z, I don't want my friends or me to be the sacrifice of this conflict we were four years ago. Baby! Oh my god, only four? Wait! She was very small. How old are you? She was very small and it was four years ago? Maybe she wasn't as small as I thought? Wait, what, what age was she? They, they said it, didn't, she, didn't they? Or did they said how long she has been there? Wait, so the storm has been there for eight years. So it means it started in 99, so she was 8. 8 plus 4. Wait, math. 4, 8, 12. Wait, no! That's impossible! <laughs> There's something I'm missing, I'm sorry. <laughs> maybe this is another... Maybe this is not... Uh... Okay, I'm confused. 
Officially. Oh, baby. That's why you handed in the background reports of those arcanists as the evidence for your proposition in the negotiation. Yeah, she tried. She tried so hard. Bertie, lots of, uh... what do you want? A neutral, safe, and legitimate place for us. Ooh, that sounds too independent. That's why she proposed what she proposed to Constantine, who rejected it. For, from her side, for very good reasons. <laughs> AKA not being able to control Vertin anymore, if she's too independent. What if I'm also on the side of Mankind Caucus? Yeah, right. I don't know <laughs> whose side you're on, but I believe the future you pursue doesn't end up with a foundation being split apart by factional conflict. <sighs> That's what I learned from that stormy night. Oh. Your eyes told me. Oh. <laughs> you didn't belong to that chess game. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't think Constantine told her to go to Vertin. You may leave the reports. I need some time. No matter what your decision is. Thank you. I feel already like crying. What is this game doing to me? <laughs> Madame Z, I know this is the bare minimum, but I... Fuck, I didn't read it. She flips through the files, guys, <laughs> and then pick up the phone. <laughs> Please put me through Delegate Mark. Why does this game skip without me? I'm not on auto. The long hallway is located between the Committee and the House of Integratus, forming a bridge between the two loci, loci of power. I don't know how to read it, sorry, but I know what it means, sorry. <laughs> familiar and unfamiliar ones bustle around in the hallway, holding proposal that ever Whoa! <laughs> sorry! <laughs> that only have a uh, uh, 1 in 10 chance of passing. Hey, Burton. Oh, I think I stuff. Hello. Your friend is waiting for you in the rehab center. Mesmer Jr., remember? That's why. That's when. Let us take you there. Oh god. So you guys can catch up. Oh boy. Fuck me. Fuck you, Auntie. Auntie, sorry. <laughs> more like. It means uh, more like. More like fuck you. That was uh, the right uh, the right sentence. Okay. Trace. Uh wet letter. A letter with lovely stamps wet by dew. Do? Do. One of the two. Open it. Okay, reading. <laughs> um, dear Z, the last person from who I'd expect a letter. I am glad to hear from you. About what you wrote uh, to ask, uh, I didn't find anything. No one in the France... Uh, oh, in the France branch uh, knows about the storm, including the leader and some of the senior officers. I think you have to give up on this one. But we need to know more about the storm, so do those big shots. That's why the Foundation is desperate for a source of information and values the, times, the timekeeper so much. Uh, that being the case, uh, we are back to the beginning. How ridiculous. Who is she? Who is this? I don't think there is anything else I can do for you or her. The good news is, uh, my business trip to the France branch has been smooth, and I'm estimated to be back to in the headquarters tomorrow afternoon. I'm writing this before my way back, so I can use the beautiful special stamp I got here. <laughs> oh, cute. Um, but French branch? Do we have another, another French character besides Matilda? Because Matilda is here. But they don't have to be French to be sent in France, honestly. Well, uh, maybe we can, maybe we can have another game by then. Game? The people here are not good at ping pong. Who is good at ping pong here? So things became boring after I had beaten everyone I saw. <laughs> By the way, congratulations on your promotion. I'm glad to know uh, you have already adapted to the style of communication and the work in the foundation. Clever as you are, we all know you were still thinking and acting the scientist way. Anyway, the time no longer goes forward, but it didn't stop. It has brought us to this mess, and we have uh, to do something. One more thing. <gasps> the name! Cats. Who is Cats? Um, sorry. One more thing. I went ahead. <laughs> um, keep the black umbrella you mentioned. 
You don't always get to find the rain gear used by someone that witnessed and braved the storm. Oh! Madame Z brave. Oh, well, Madame Z was in the storm! With Vertin and didn't got reversed! I didn't think about it! I thought she was human. Honestly. <laughs> I'm not sure. Wait, maybe we it was said in the little Naruto thingy? I never pay attention to those things. Yours cats from the branch from the French branch. Who is cats? Do we know anyone? Please don't be an NPC, a sacrificable NPC especially. Okay, the outsiders. Outsiders, sorry. This is oh oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh my god. This is Ruvis. And this uh, looks like an evil lady with a bun. <laughs> um, um, last time I didn't cry as much because I was most, more pissed than sad, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> but I'm a crybaby, so I still shed tears. <laughs> okay, the outsider. Under the bricks and stones, few plants can vegetate here. Oh, right. Poor Druvis, she left her forest behind. Another freebie. Should have looked at it a little better, maybe. Doesn't matter. Miss Druvis, we are oh. waiting for your response. Your response is fuck off! No. My response is fuck off, sorry. I am the last to be invited. We. Oui. Is there anything else that concerns you, Miss Druvis? They are inviting them one by one, that's why she was left here. When will my friends come back? They are waiting for you outside the suitcase, just Not true. as we are. All we want is an opportunity to they talk are to you face to face. They are outside. They can come in. They can't come in. Please wait a moment. Oh, she's going out though, because I saw it <laughs> in the little uh, preview scheme. Or wait, graph. I can't call it a graph. What is it called? I don't know. There is no time to feel attached to the past. She looks at the brown granules, granules? in her palm. Uh, these are seed of trees. As she wags the finger, the fingers, the seeds are sprinkled on the ground by the stairs. They quickly roll and disappear in the gaps and crevices. I should remember this. Did she put them where? In the suitcase? Between the stairs? Her friends are not here, of course. May I ask where we are? The library. A place where people let down their guards. Trust always facilitates cooperation, don't you think? This is very creepy. <laughs> I want it to fall. <laughs> but I don't even know your name. The name is Constantine. I'm the Vice President of the Joint Committee of the Foundation. And the Ultimate Beach is also her title. <laughs> Please allow me to extend a welcome on behalf of the Foundation. He taps her pen on the table and calls out a thin pile of documents. The signature are left blank on the paper. You are not signing shit, Drovis. Look we at me. We sent this document into that suitcase shit. days ago. I should assume that you have read it. What's your conclusion then, Ms. Weyerhauser? Are you referring to inviting Sotheby, Mr. Apple and me, to join the Foundation? We are not signing shit. We need to discuss this with Britain before we give you a proper response. Excellent. We don't know much about the Foundation. As far as I'm concerned, I do not yet intend to join any organization. He's a badass. They can't... They can't do this to me. She's my only hope, honestly. <laughs> Mr. Apple, I love you, but she's my only hope. <laughs> Mr. Apple, I love you, but you are a apple. <laughs> you are an apple and I can't... <laughs> I know, I don't know. <laughs> um, maybe I am appleist. I shouldn't be appleist. Maybe I am fruitist. Is that how... <laughs> I think it's a word. <laughs> I should trust me that Mr. Apple too. Sotheby is smart, but she, I don't know if she can sense bad people enough to understand that they are not up to any good. Hmm. That is to say, 
you are inclined to turn down my proposal. My apologies. Verton has not only been of great help to us, but also saved us from the storm. And you did nothing for them to trust you? I cannot accept the invitation without her opinion. Neither can I make decisions for others. Fair enough. Good job. Great job. Now what? Kosatin gets up on her feet and walks to the other side of the table. There stands an unfinished, an unfinished card tower. Do you want? I'm scared of you. You, who accidentally and rather luckily escaped from the storm in 1929, and now seek refuge from the Foundation. Weyerhauser, Sotheby, and Apple, you are the spire of the tower. What is the spire? Between you and the Foundation, the stories in the middle are our investigators who go out to rescue the wandering arcanists and humans. Burton is one of them. Merely a drop in the ocean. Do we have to care? <laughs> they don't care. Burton, indeed, is the key to connect you and the Foundation. But let's not forget, only an entity as massive and powerful as the Foundation can provide you with long-lasting protection. Oh, you're getting so desperate. <laughs> Without the Foundation's supplies, manpower, and technology, even Burton can barely sail against the great tides of history, let alone the ordinary people whose fate is doomed to struggle. Shut the, the fuck up. You need her as much the, as the, she kind of maybe needs you. Open your eyes and take a look. We are the unshakable fortress you should rely on. And you think throwing cards at her was, will convince her? <laughs> Do you still wish to talk to Verton first? Yes, of course. You are so fucking shady. Do you think this is convincing? It isn't. Maybe it's threatening though, maybe. And she's saying we are powerful, we can do everything. She's receiving a treatment from us. Hmm. That's not a smart thing to do, to say. Which means she won't make it back by your side before any decision is made. That's an even less smart thing to say. <laughs> if she doesn't trust you, she doesn't know you are a piece of shit, but... <laughs> Bertin isn't here. She hadn't had contact with her since she saw her last. And uh, which for how caring she is, it's not very in her character. And now you're saying you you made her receive a treatment and she won't be here before they made the make the decision. I don't know if Druvis would make the conclusion, but it's risky to say these things. <sighs> oh boy, she feels the pressure though. I would understand anything you do. Her suitcase will also be retrieved for research purposes after the meeting. Motherfucker. As compensation for your displacement, we will arrange you a more decent room. No thanks. Well, what alternative do you have, actually? Miss Z will show you around the headquarters tomorrow. Thank goodness. Go walk around and meet some people. Perhaps it will help you see what the most beneficial choice to all of us would be. I will wait for your answer. But, honestly, for how cornered she's making her feel, if it was me, if it were me, out of spite, I would still say no and bear the consequences. <laughs> I would die in a, sense, in a fantasy setting because I'm spiteful. <laughs> Don't keep me waiting for too long. Maybe I wouldn't be as smart because I also kind of can't sometimes understand the vibe of people, though. Ooh, who is this? Sodeby? Doesn't seem Sodeby. Who are these colors? I don't remember. A coat? Rack. Whom um, these people are guarding a bedroom? Or are they escorting? Or... Uh... Hmm, let me see. Oh, A fight! Okay, <laughs> um, uh, is it one level 30? We are up in the level, amazing. Hopping and bouncing, it marches forward with the pride of an alchemist 
and the manner of a lady. So it is so to be. Maybe. Probably. She has uh, three guests. Oh, this is a suitcase. Maybe. They said they, will, they would uh, take it away. There's another room here, which is sus that you're showing it to me. Well, we'll see. And there is another... No. That's in another place, so it is in the same room. What is this? Okay, let's go ahead. We will... Uh, we will know soon what's all this about. Lopey. Yes, I've received a report on the Chicago office. Well done. The envelope leaves her and flies out of the window. Madame Z quickly walks through the crowds and stops at the door in the in a hallway. Aside from the vibrant secret secretary area, the entire hallway is based in a serene vibe. This is the door to her own office. Oh. Hi. Good timing. What can I do? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> See, probably. I don't know if they are going the pure evil route with her, but I only feel evil from her. <laughs> uh, I'm very sorry if she ends up uh, having justifiable motives. I want to know until they say it to me, so don't be upset if I am angry right now. <laughs> it always happens to me, people always remind me it's not always black and white, but right now it seems pretty... Um, um, pretty bad. <laughs> she seems pretty bad, so I think my emotions are justified. Um, but we'll see. We'll see in the end. <gasps> Did I startle you? Wow. Considering what we've been through together, I didn't expect you to be as surprised as Miss Weyerhauser was. Sharon didn't tell me you're here. There's no need to tense up. I told her not to say anything. Is it bad that she's in your office? Did you have something sensitive she shouldn't, she shouldn't see? I have talked to Miss Weyerhauser. Everything is going well. Is that going well for you? She's gotten quite a shock. That little pale face. Like a stressed cat. She is in dire need of comfort from a friend. What do you want me to do? To do what a good tamer would do. Reach her with a sincere, friendly gesture. Ease their pains, answer their questions, and lead them on to the right path. Of course, most importantly, make them be of use to us, to serve the course of the peace of mankind. She's insisting on making Madame Z another herself. I see. And she's doing it because it's orders. Constantine feels pleased with the response. Uh, she gets up and walks toward the door. She said, I None see. None of them has signed the agreement. Oh! No. Wah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> uh, Sosby is smarter than she. Than I think. Well, not, uh, not that I think she was dumb. I just thought that she wasn't very people smart, which is a mood. So I wouldn't know. I, I didn't know if... Uh, she'd sign it or not because she was also excited to get out of the mm, of the suitcase Mr. Apollet no doubt <laughs> but this recruitment is essential for us for the short term and for the long run can you see what I am doing Madame Z listens uh, with her head bowed yes Constantine smiles Oh, and there's one more thing. Yeah? Don't address her as Miss Weyerhauser. She doesn't like it. Damn, you read people so well. I'll take note on that. She stares at her until that slim, tall figure goes through the door and disappears in, an instant, in a distant light. Mm, reading is hard. <laughs> Wow! 
five and two thirds portions of silver wine, twenty drops of toad oil, and some crumbles of pure gold from Uka Yali. I am so happy to see you, honestly. <laughs> You're so baby. How are you doing? Are you still grieving? You seem okay. Well, as okay as you can be. <laughs> so the bee rests her head on the table, stirring the semi no, the semi solid liquid in a tube in the tube. She contemplates a bit and takes out two more tubes with bright colored materials inside from under a dress. Wow! Okay, it's under the dress! Amazing! Last ingredient the burning acid salts. Ooh. So the bee's incredible shape shifting potion will be done at any minute! Shape shifting? What are you planning? The burning acid salts fall into the bowl. And out of that bowl rises a strange smell. Hmm? What? Uh, what is going on? The, the edge of the potion has turned pink. Pink? <gasps> Blimey! It's the iron bowl! It reacted with the potion! Yikes! Oh no, this is not good. What effect will it cause now? I should have brought my crucible with me. Nothing can work as a decent vessel here. Oopsies. She jumps up with annoyance and starts taking thing, taking tir circles, like walking circles, in the room. Time is against me! Dinner will be served at any minute. I have to make up my mind now. Hmm. She's quickly counting the ingredients hidden under her dress. 23, 24, 106. Not far away from the room, footsteps come closer and closer to her closed door. Miss Sotheby, dinner is ready. Guard one. <gasps> what is wrong with dinner? W wait! Don't come in! Oh, I don't have enough ingredients for another potion. What can I do? Why is it time sensitive? This could be the last chance to make it out. Hmm, I see. Last chance. Miss Sotheby? I love her, she's trying to run. Do you need help? Oh, he's kind of I am putting on stockings. This is ladies' dressing time, so don't you come in. Just a minute. She is kind of lovely, though. The tube is ready eating heat in her palm. It's all right. I'll be fine. I may look a bit different from expected, but it doesn't matter. Is that why... No... I don't remember her model, but I was saying that's why I didn't recognize the model, but I probably wouldn't rec recognize her, no her model. I, I forgot how it looked. Three, two, one. Uh -huh. Oh, that's a bad sound. She inhales deeply and finishes the potion in one gulp. The imperfect potion flows through her throat, uh, reeking of the smell of timber and in her esophagus. Sorry. She feels something is tickling her in her hair. And her head seems to lose its weight. Oh? Her nails become fluffy like cotton, stretching out in all direction. Like, this is not good. There seems to be a sun etching in her larynx, hanging over the rest of her body. That's okay. Uh, this is a feeling to the instinct to be overlooked. <sighs> This is a great disguise. Maybe not to walk outside, but <laughs> to look like she's not here. Absolutely. Did I notice she has a little bird in her, in her uh, hat? Very cute. But I made it, didn't I? I hope this doesn't have health complications. Um, what am I now? Um. <gasps> <laughs> now the title makes sense. <laughs> Impossible. I was expecting a movable tennis ball. A oh, whoops. Miss Sotheby, please excuse me, but I have to open the door. Oh, wow, so bold, Gardwan. <gasps> just, just a move, just a move. Creak, door opens. He's gonna give uh, them a scare. She's gonna give them a scare. You look so cute, though. 
The guard freezes with a dinner plate, looking up and down in bewilderment. There is truly no one in the room, nor any places for anyone to hide. Huh? <gasps> oh boy! <sighs> it's okay, it's it's here. Oh no! Was it here before? Oh fuck! He knows the layout of the room! <laughs> That's bad! <laughs> he doesn't like the way he stands there. He turns his face around the desk to the desk, sorry. I read it so wrong. <laughs> he certainly can't miss that muddy, semi-finished potion in the bowl. He cautiously dips his gloved finger in the suspicious mud and take a whiff. Oh she must still be in the room. Yes indeed. Suffering she is in this very room. <laughs> it's okay, baby. Oh boy. She's suffering a lot. Itchy, incredibly itchy. Her throat feels as if it be it would become it become a sound so it's a, such that's so tiresome to say. It the, the <laughs> it would become a lump of soy. I would say I will say would. <laughs> Where water weeds grow vigorously and they are dancing and burning them. Oh baby, she's suffocating. I can't listen to this. Oh fuck, she coughed. The contract stop. She coughed. Oh, what? What are we doing? Oops, indeed. Miss Sotheby. Oh well. No. Jump! Jump! Oh, oh. She's doing her best. She grips her hat, jumping like a standing twig toward the, the open door. What a strenuous move! What a painful pace! She can't help missing the days when she could walk it with two legs. <laughs> she must be very. Yes, very easy to catch, but the, guard seizes her, but the guard seizes her by the pole. That's so rude. Miss Sotheby, you are not allowed to leave the room without permission. Oh god. Please forgive me for being violent. Oh. It's the Iron Bull's fault! This it is, is false imprisonment! I must get out of here today! Oh, girly. Bodyguard? I guess they are being so very hostile that nobody with any uh, lacking knowledge of social <laughs> interaction or um, social relationships would miss how they are forcing them to be here or how they are threatening. Oh, fight! Mama, mama, let me just switch a few things. Okay, let's do it like this. Oh, wow! What is up with their eyes? Ah, oh, the secret attempt has, has failed. The dignified Kotrak is now joining the fight. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> I love this game so much. <laughs> it's so fun. It's so funny. <laughs> um. Sure, lovely! Um, do I have any moves for from the contract or does it move itself? Um Okay, damn! The music hits hard. Start me up! Left hand up! Now right hand up. Two waves, so we have plenty of time to see what the contract does. It moves on its own! Poison! Oh my goodness! This is amazing! <laughs> I love the co track! <laughs> okay, and uh, no, let's not do that. Let's, uh, yes, do this. Um, but he has so little life that I'm not gonna waste um, anything. I'll just do this. Okay. Okay, wait two. <laughs> <laughs> what was this? It does healing! Oh, Sotheby, Sotheby is a healer? I actually didn't know this. Oh, that's lovely, amazing. Die. Sorry, <laughs> that was aggressive. Um, but you indeed must die. Well, it's fine if you don't die, but if you could, please, it would be great. Ah, I don't think so. That's not her weakness. Oh, we did it! Anyway, just kidding. 
Sí, I love her. <laughs> the dignified coat, coat rack, coat, coat rack. I don't remember what it's called. Um, um this one for Are sure. Ready to be blanket. Amazing. Damn, this song is called Swad. Oh, sorry, Regus. You interrupted the song with your own song, which also is a bop. Wow, oh, really? amazing. Sure. That yeah, coat track is the, the coat. Kids. The coat track is amazing. <laughs> it's. A, <laughs> I have no words. <laughs> that was so funny for no reason. <laughs> Ah, true indeed. The potions of the bees smashed on the floor has taken effect. The guard is deeply troubled by the sneezing one after another. Good guard. Hm. Was doing his job. You can never seize Mr. Bee, the great potion alchemist, that easily. You're back to yourself. The the pink suits you <laughs> very much. It's very lovely on you. <laughs> More of the people in white are attracted by the noises in this, in this room. What? What's going on? You have a cute accent. What's wrong, Miss Sotheby? Your dress is a mess. Oh, this room smells terrible. Oh, my body is back! Ah. The potion's effect wears off. The guard cover in all the slime tries to get up off the floor with a great effort. <laughs> it's good to see you here. We must apply for more guards for this ah, room. Dang. You are doing your job. So I can't be mad at you. To be continued. I have some more time. I have so much time today, but I have to record another thing. Oh. Okay. So. I see Lilia Lilia <laughs> Um Officially Lilia Simp by the way <laughs> Officially would would die for Lilia if she didn't uh, change stance but was it was she maybe the one No because she was here taking care of the flying mantas so maybe she wasn't the one in Fran in France And also Kat She's not Kat she's Lilia unless uh, no, she's not cat. <laughs> um, um, Madame Z, Druvis, Lilia, uh, Mesmer, and Vertin. Why is there a wall? It seems like a glass wall, so maybe they are observing. There is a glass. Weird, uh, weird, weird, weird. See, we are all experts in vodka. Ah, uh, well, okay, I now understand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, um, okay, let's go. Let's see what's up. I'm glad to see Lilia back. Brisk lively running footsteps uh, echo between the walls of the MP empty hallway. Sorry. <coughs> Miss Lilia! Hi! You are here! Here you are! <laughs> wow! I didn't know! You didn't look uh, foundation coded, but apparently you are! Our teacher asked me to give you this and ask you to help us to. Um. What was it? Don't ask me. Leilani suddenly stops herself. She scratches her head bewilderedly. Be 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 yes. Probably. We evaluate the mock exam of Zena's enrollment procedure. <laughs> so pretty. Oh, right. That's it. I couldn't find you anywhere. They said you were in the rehab center, so I came here. <sighs> Why is she How here? Is possible? <laughs> He's so cute. Well, turns out the moment I saw you, the thing just slipped my mind. <laughs> I'm overexcited. What a mood. All right, I got it. She's so pretty. I want you. I'll head back then. It's a great pleasure to see you today. Miss Lilia, woohoo! Go for it. Allez, gunfunde! <laughs> uh, like, right, she's polyglo polyglotta, wait. How do you say polyglotta in English? I forgot. I already looked it up once. I don't remember. 
He only waves at her, running away delightfully. Why go for it, me? Do I look like a stagiaire to her? <laughs> New recruit. Nevajna. Let me check. What are you checking? Are you checking for Vertin 2? Are you looking for her? You were looking after her last time. Her and her friends. Who? Elevation. 2,500 feet. Mountainous terrain. Dense forest area. Good atmospheric visibility. Enemies. Groups of ground-based food critters and airborne Elitio species 04. If we were to engage the enemy in this dense forest and fight in close range, our mobility will be largely reduced and we can't borrow roll to dodge attacks from the ground. But if we pull up and deal with the Air Force first... Hmm, <laughs> close enough. Ready to fight. <laughs> Lilia signs, signs her name on the paper. What am I seeing this for? Oh! For fighting, I see. <laughs> oh! Change of team! Okay, I'm just putting the people I need to raise friendship with. Also, she rocks. So it's fine. Sadly, these are the cancels. There we go. Heck, good team. Pride goes before the fall. I've been there. You better take it. Yup, yup. Love it. I love Eternity. Scooch, Nate. If you lose to Eternity the 50 50, you have to be happy. <laughs> It's a rule. <laughs> well, no, maybe you don't have to. You are entitled to your feelings. <laughs> Boring. What kind of new recruits they will let in by giving out such a simple exam? Hmm. Hmm. It takes a few mouthful from the military canteen hanging on her belt. Are you evaluating the battlefield mock exam for this year? Yep. Uh... Arizino has updated their question ban. Madame Z walks up to her from the other end of the hallway. Not far away from her, a dressy stranger follows. No, just killing time. She throws the exam paper aside, looking up and down at the wand holding newcomer. Their eyes meet. Can I ship it? <laughs> it takes that little, yes. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> I smelled bison grass. Oh? Huh? In your canteen. Ha, huh, right. Authentic Zubrovka. One of the few pastimes I have here. Oh, he's blushing! How cute! Wanna have a sip? No, thank you. It smells fresh. Tender. Like thyme and lavender in spring. I believe it is precious. So I can ship this. <laughs> You're saying me I can. I have permission. <laughs> you can smell things. Well. Fresh indeed. Made in 1929. I'll say it's already about... Uh, forget it. I don't do much. <laughs> what a freaky mood. <laughs> a sensitive time. Without saying any more words, they all cast their eyes on the closest, closest window. Oh, Lilia is here for her too then. That was the glass, it was a window. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at their reflection. Sorry. Behind that window, on the bed, lies a patient, securely packed by magnetic coils, rubber tubes and transparent helmet. She knows she doesn't need all of this. So, you're here for Virtin too? I'm showing her around the foundation and decided to drop by the rehab center. <sighs> Baby. Mesmer Jr. sits by the bed. She has noticed the visitors at the window, but she doesn't turn around to them. Her back stiffens even more, a sign of vigilance. Vigilance, sorry, maybe. The ward is also guarded by several staff members of the rehabilitation center. Their state of art equipment spirals up their uniforms. Does she dream? Sometimes. Madame Z stares at the reflection of Druvi's face on the glass. Say, Madame Z. <laughs> Let me show you somewhere else.
Ruvis does not say another word. Silently, she follows Madame Z and moves toward the other side of the hallway. Neither of them look back, looks back. At one point of, or another, their figures overlap each other, as if they were the same person. Lilia turns her eyes back on the inert person in bed. She jiggles the canteen in her hand. It's still half full. You have a good taste, Bellwether. Never tried the vodka from 1929 before. <sighs> good for you to get this in the US, when both alcohol and coumarin were banned. The thing you said about take care of them for me when necessary. I'll consider it. Hello? Them for me when necessary? Who said it? Vertina? Raise a glass, oh. Padruga. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> to your health, your soon recovery. <laughs> to our better lives. To this unknown date. To this messed up time. Za zdarovie. I actually feel a bit teary, I'm very sorry. <laughs> okay. This will sober me up. You have a basic idea of this place now. <laughs> I'll walk you to your room. Is there anything else you want to know? <sighs> Madame Z doesn't seem overly friendly. What do I have to do so you will release Burton? Get. Someone has hit the nail on the, bed, on the head. It depends on what you hope to achieve. That's the best depends person you could us. ask. Is that what you said? Verton, the person we rely on, is being hypnotized in the rehab center. Thank you. I was counting on you. <laughs> that suitcase, the world we inhabit, has been taken away for research purposes. It's as if the whole thing was manipulated to leave us high and dry and isolated so that you would have something on us. But that's exactly what's happening. We do not have a choice, Madame Z. Tell him. However, if we change the condition, that something they have can turn the negotiation around and in your favor. I... I do not understand what you mean. She's on your side, that's what you what she means, I think. Oh, Before what is that? she went to the rehab center, Burton asked me about which department you would be in. Mm -hmm. And we have worked out a feasible proposal. <gasps> but a catalyst is what we need at present. A catalyst? A quiet, mild, and tranquil status quo makes the change seem unnecessary. A proper gust of wind will vitalize the wave of change and push it to the cusp of revolution. What are you suggesting right now? You mean... This doesn't seem what, what Constantine told you to do, is it? <laughs> I think I can trust her, but I'm still a bit scared of how far she wants to follow her directions. This doesn't seem like, a, uh, like something that Constantine would want, maybe? Unless they did all these things, uh, this thing of... Uh, making Constantine go look for her in her own office. Did she also, because she's very cal calculative and she knows that uh, Madame Z isn't very on board with her ideas. She does follow the instructions usually, but she also acts by herself, like going to Vertin during the storm. Maybe, probably, possibly. <laughs> that wasn't something that Constantine told her to do. So, would it be possible that this is a great plan as long as Constantine doesn't know about it. <laughs> but it is risky. That's true. I cannot give you any promises. But a fixed pattern of management will only impede the development of everyone. I hold the same idea as Verdins in this case. Or there is another path in front of you. Sign your name and become an official member of the Foundation. Yes. 
Take no thanks. <laughs> yes, the many arcanists who cannot support themselves yearn for. Mm. <sighs> He's doing both. He's doing what she wants to do, but she's also following orders. So, you are not inducing me to join the foundation? Ooh, this is a bit friendly. This is maybe okay. Wait, I'm here to show you around. My senior asked me to make sure that you had a comforting tour. Oh. I hope this tour is helpful for you. Wow, she's seen it all. I can't help but like her. <laughs> I think this is, well, normal. <laughs> okay. Um, I didn't, uh, I don't know how many chapters are in uh, this... Um, 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 um. Oh, freebie. No, not freebie. Uh, yummy. <laughs> I don't know how many chapters there are in this. But maybe let's stop here for uh, today. And I'll do a longer video next time. I think this is a comfy space or comfy time to stop. Because I feel for once I finished recording this video and I'm not that anxious. <laughs> Because uh, Reverse 1999 is a lovely story, a great story, but it's a little, uh, well, it's packed with stuff and uh, it creates the atmosphere so well that uh, when it's supposed to give you anxiety because bad things are, are happening, you do get the anxiety. <laughs> so I always finish recording and then I'm a bit tense. <laughs> but uh, for today I'm gonna stop here. Thank you so much for watching. If you feel like it, subscribe and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye!